Hi everyone, welcome to Wolfie's World. I'm Wolfie Rankin. Now today I want to talk about something practical. Uh, some of you might have an album or a single that you want to sell on eBay. And I've been to eBay a few times and I've seen something that makes me cringe. And friends, this needs to be fixed. I'm sure some of you have seen it yourselves. Now, some people have, let's say they've got an album and it might be a two album set and they've got maybe there's a red and a green vinyl record in there and they want to display it, of course. So what do they do? They pull it out and they stack one on top of the other, just overlapping a little bit. And that might be all right for the arts and crafts crowd who want to turn records into clocks and bowls. But it doesn't turn us record collectors on at all. Because, folks, it scratches the record. And we don't want our records scratched, okay? So don't do that. Now, what often happens is that a company like Music on Vinyl, which is a big record producing company, uh, they might do a limited run of, say, 2,000 copies of a, of a particular record. And uh, what they'll do is they'll make a few extra and they'll give some of these copies to their photographer who will do this really nice layout and take a photo of it and give that to Music on Vinyl who'll use it on their website to promote their new record. Uh, case in point was the new David Bowie album which uh, came on. Uh, two different colored vinyls, uh, orange and green. And you know, that's fine for a company like that. But when you're at home, you've got that record and that record only. Or you might have maybe three copies at most. Do not, if it's sealed, please, I beg you, do not unseal a record if it's sealed already. We don't want an unsealed record, okay? We don't want you to take it out of the cover and test it, test it, knowing full well that what you're really doing is taking the record out, playing it and recording it onto your computer so that you can listen to it later, yeah? Yeah, that's what you're doing, aren't you? No, we don't want you to do that, thank you very much. If it's sealed, please leave it in its pack. Thank you. Uh, that's the bottom line, okay? Now, if the record is opened and it's a colored vinyl and you want to take a photo of it, I've got the solution. This solution will teach you how to take a really good photo of this special limited edition without scratching it. Are you with me? Here we go. And with my trusty K9 sitting right beside me observing everything I do, let's do this. Get yourself a glass coffee table with a nice glass top, okay? Nice clear glass top, very important. Now, get yourself a bedside lamp, nice small one that will fit underneath the table like this. You can use a normal size table too, that's up to you. If you've got one, use it. Here's a cloth over the top, it's just a pillowcase. Use a tablecloth if you like. It will do exactly the same thing. Now get a tumbler, glass tumbler like this, nice heavy one. Turn your lamp on and then get your colored vinyl record out and balance it on the top, just like this. Very easy to do. And as you can see, if you hold the camera above it, the light from underneath shines through the vinyl, giving it a nice glow. Now just put your camera over the top and take your photo then photograph the cover. Very, very simple to do, and I think Jet approves. Don't you? <laughs> Isn't she cute? She is a very cute doggy indeed. Oh, it's getting a little bit thundery here at the moment. Okay, now you've got your photos. What do you do with them? Well, there's a little bit of fixing up in Photoshop that you've got to do. Uh, it's a little bit complicated, but it's not too hard. Now, I might make a video about that in future, but if you want to do things right now, I've got the info on my blog site, well, on my blog, on www.wolfierankin.com. So you can go there right now, and you can suss out how to do it yourself. And uh, I've sort of left the instructions a little bit vague, because you might not have 
Photoshop. You might have some other software package, and that's fine. So you might be able to go, uh -huh, well, that won't work for me, but I think I can do X, Y, and Z, and it will still come out the same way. So, okay, I think that should be fine. If you really do have any difficulties, please get in touch because, you know, I'm not going to bite your leg off or anything even though I'm wolfy. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm tame. I'm domesticated. I'm friendly. And um, I'm quite happy to help. So do write back to me and say, hey, Wolfie, how do I do such and such? Because I'm a newbie and I don't know. Um, I'll, I'll help you out for sure. And if you haven't yet seen the fruits of my labor, here's an example of what I've done. And that's all for this week. I'm Wolfie Rankin. Take care.